YouTube, so today I am creating this makeup look. It's a, a makeup look for a night out, or if you like bolder makeup looks for the day, of course you can wear it then. Um, and this is a collab with Rosanna here on YouTube. Um, all her links will be down below. Her makeup look is all real, like you guys will love it. It's so different, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we've both decided to do makeup looks for a night out as we love more dramatic makeup looks and it's super fun to create and you get to see um, how I do my makeup in pictures that I would do for a night out. Um, so yeah, hopefully you like it and if you want to see this look, please keep watching and please remember to go down and subscribe to Rosanna because she is amazing. So yeah, if you want to see this makeup look, then please keep Okay, so hopefully you can see okay what I'm doing. I'm just gonna, I'm not putting foundation on yet, but I'm gonna start off with my MAC um, Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and put that on my eyelids just to even out the, like get rid of all the fans and stuff and have a clean base to put the eyeshadow onto. Okay, so next I am going to use the Make Matte Nude and I'm going to use shade Matte Singer or that, that shade anyway, with a big fluffy blending brush, which is my MAC 224 and put that as a crease colour. So I'm just putting that as a transition colour. And then I'm going to get my new baby, which is my Laura Pro palette. And I'm going to take shade Sable, which is just that one there. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but just gonna take that and put it into the out corners of my eye. Again, just building up a transition color. Now we're going to get the pigment, which is the fun part. I'm going to get my wee brush for, from Ovani and it's like that. And I'm going to spray it with my Max Fix Plus just to get the pigment to stay up, to stick on it. Then I'm going to get my MAC pigment in Melon, which is a, such a stunning colour. And get that. I'm just going to take what's on the lid of it and put it onto my brush and pack it onto my eye. So that's the pigment at the minute. Just put pack and load onto your eye, like that. Then I am going to get my Lorac Pro palette again and just get the shade black, which is a matte one, and this slightly smaller um, fluffy brush and pack that onto the out corners of my eye. It's looking very harsh at the minute, but we will be blending it out. Which is the most important bit of using dark colours, is blending it out. And then just getting the 224 again and blending these colours out. You can even get some of the brown from the Meat Mac Nude and blend, use that to blend it out a wee bit. like that so far. Then I'm going to get the matte Mallory from the Meat Matte Nude which is just a matte white. Put it on my finger and we'll sweep that under my brow bone. Okay so now I'm going to put on my foundation and come back when I'm doing the concealer because that's the bit that's going to tidy this up. So I'm going to put my foundation on and then I'll be back. So now it's time for the concealer. I'm just using my Last Imperfection um, by Collection Concealer in Fair One to highlight under my eyes. I've been really loving this again lately, so I'm going to put two triangles under each eye and one down my nose. 
and like that. And then get my beauty blender and blend them out. And this really neatens up the side of your eyeshadow like that as you can see. Just really tidies it up. And the beauty blender just buffs it out or blends it out so, so flawlessly. Okay, so now I'm going to set under my eyes and I'm going to use my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to use the shade Banana which is the middle one at the top there and I'm just going to use this wee brush by Ivani and set under my eyes to stop the concealer from moving anywhere like that and then I'm going to use my Holy Grail it. Um, Stay Matte by Rimmel London with my um, Real Techniques powder brush and set the rest of my face. As I'm sure you all know I love a matte finish with my makeup. Okay so for underneath my eyes, oh, I'm going to take Matte Rosen from the Meat Matte Nude Palette and just apply that under the outer of my eyes. And then I'm just gonna get my big fluffy brush and once again blend everything out. Like that. And I'm gonna get what's left on the brush that I put the um, pigment and melanin and just put that under the in corners of my eye. Okay, so I just done my eyeliner, um, which I didn't press the record button for, and I just used the BAMS eyeliner in Schwing, um, and I really, really like it. I recommend it, and it's a, a really nice eyeliner and smooth to go on, so yeah, I recommend that. I'm going to do my eyebrows now, but I'm going to do them off camera because you have seen this so many times before, and I will um, link down below my eyebrow routine. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute for the next part. Okay, so I've put on a wee bit of mascara. Um, and I'm going to put a wee bit on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to apply false lashes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for mascara. I just use the L'Oreal Telestop telescopic extra black mascara I really really like this and I really recommend it um so yeah I'm going to just wait for my lashes to for the glue to dry in a wee bit and then I'll put them on okay so my eyelash glue has kind of dried off now so I'm just going to apply them so I look down and just place them as close to my top lash line as possible and then fix them once they're on I use a little pin which seems a wee bit dramatic but I use a pin, where am I? A little pin to push down the front as it never wants to stick for me. These lashes have been used quite a few times and this would probably be my last time using them. So yeah, like that. And just press them down again like that okay so I'm just going to use while the lash glue is drying I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and that one in the middle to contour with my Ovani um, angled blush I have been loving this to contour with I'm just going to go around my hairline down my face like that and then I'm going to get my big powder brush from Ovani and use the one at the very end to bronze so this is more of a fluffy brush it's just going to give me a more natural um, bronze And then get my powder brush to blend it all out. 
like that. Then I'm going to get, if I can get it out, my new blush, uh, which is from MAC in Stubborn with my Real Techniques blush brush, and put that on and kind of blend it up. Like that and before I blend it out for a final time I'm going to use my new highlighter which I'm very excited about it's the MAC soft and gentle I haven't had this before and I've heard so many good things about it um, what brush? I'm going to use my Infami um, wee brush and just put it like that shake it off and put it on my cheeks oh it's so pretty I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but that is stunning. I don't know why it took me so long to get this. Like that. And once again, get my blusher brush and blend out. Or my powder brush. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to use MAC um, Lip Liner in Sore. <laughs> going to harm my lip. Okay. Like that. And I'm going to overdraw my lips at the top. Like that, I round them off a wee bit because I have really um, sharp cup cupid's bow. So once I've done that, then I'm going to go down my lip. But this time, not overdrawing the sides. And the bottom. And I have a big bottom lip anyway, so I don't overdo that at all. Then I'm going to get the infamous MAC Velvet Teddy and apply that. And that's how I overdraw my lips because I do not have big lips at all, especially my top one. So that is my look, pretty much. I'm just going to get my telescope again, again and put that in with my lashes. Just to blend them in. So it's like the Kylie Jenner lip with a completely funky, spiced up eye. So yeah, this is my look. I really like how it's turned out. I've worn it a few times out and got a few compliments on it, which is always a plus side. I'm loving this lip look at the minute. Like it's true, like Velvet Teddy is a gorgeous lipstick. Um, and I love overdrawing my top lip, as I said. I don't have much of a top lip, so being able to do that is a definite plus. And then a more dramatic smoky eye for any night out with a pair of lashes is a must. So yeah, hopefully you like this look and please don't forget to go check out Rosanna's makeup look because she is stunning, her channel is amazing and all her looks are just great. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!